great deal of sunlight and heat can travel through the windows and we're trying to get rid of the heat. In the uh, wintertime, we don't care. If sun comes through and help heat the house, that's great because it's helping us. But in the summertime, it's going against us. It's actually adding heat we want to get rid of. So based on the orientation, the direction of the window or door, if you've got glass windows in a door, that heat can transfer through and cause us to gain more heat and we have to uh, consider that when we're sizing up our air conditioning system because we have to get rid of that type of heat. Okay, so now they got a listing of all the different types of uh, windows based on if it's shaded or non-shaded, if it's uh, vertical, horizontal with blinds, um, or if it's got drapes and things. So they give you different type of applications of uh, windows uh, that you will look at to determine how it will work. Now, this is another thing, too. Because sunlight can come through, we have even considered um, the, uh, how the sun is coming through based on the design of the house. If the house has an eave that, that is a sophic and eave coming away from the house, it will block and help uh, shade the windows to keep from having direct sunlight. So we have to consider that uh, dimension also. Because sunlight can come through, we need to be able to consider how the sunlight would come in and hit it. So in other words, depending how far it comes and the angle of the sun in the summertime, it will affect the heat load of a house. A house with no eaves, without shades and things, you have a very large heat gain through. So we will work step by step how to figure that out. Uh, table 4 goes into um, load values. Heat load and heat gain for opaque, opaque panels uh, and how that affect. And we looked at all the different uh, construction configurations, uh, like a frame con uh, construction, no cavity installation, no board installation. And you have to find how your house is constructed. So here's another one. So using R11 insulation with 2x4 uh, studs. Here's R13 insulation with 2x4 uh, stu stud um, construction. And we can go to uh, other types as you go through. You can see about 2x6s with insulation, no insulation. And it does make a difference in how the house will um, lose and gain heat energy. So as you go through in section four, it's a very large section because there's many different types of construction that we will find for a home. Now, it's something else we consider. We go to table 4B. Table 4B will go into uh, ventilation for attics how that will uh, affect the ceiling and, and heat loss or heat gain on a house. So by that, we could look at the ventilation and how that will uh, determine uh, of the amount of BTUs that we will gain. And we look at table 4C, and it looks at uh, the ambient temperatures for different types of spaces. Look at the garages and partitions and how they transfer heat through those areas to into the house if it's an attached garage or you have a petition going into like a sun porch or something like that that can affect how the the system of a house will operate to we're looking at the of course the billing envelope at that point so 4c goes into those special spaces that we may find on some houses And then we go into um, section six A. Go to internal loads. That's the appliances and other things you find in a house that can generate heat, such as um, people. If you got a house with a lot of people, of course, each person put out around 300 to 400 BTUs per person. And that's heat loads we have to consider, and especially in the summertime. If you have, uh, uh, like say, a lot of plants, plants puts out heat energy, you put out humidity, because you have to water them. And so we have those loads we have to consider. So as we go through, 
This is basically the um, the Manual J book, and it has a lot of information that we use to be able to take us through the whole process. So in the next uh, five or six weeks, we're going to be in this book using it to um, help uh, lead us through uh, determining uh, the house. And so we will have videos to determine step by step how to uh, use this book and to go step by step in the process of uh, learning what it would take to uh, install a furnace or find out the size of a furnace and also an AC system.